Hey there, everybody. It's Steve. You saw this post by Kent Mortensen on Facebook. He wants to be able to create a railing on top of a little knee wall. And in Chief X11, it's pretty simple. They got it built into the tool now. And uh, I don't know if Kent has X11, but if he doesn't, he should get it because it makes his life a little easier. So I'm going to show you how to create this uh, railing wall in Chief. Let's get started. Okay, here, here's a little house, just a box really, two stories. I got a stairwell here. I've just dropped a click stair in and haven't done really anything to it, but I'm gonna show you how to do this railing wall on top of a, um, it's just a pony wall really. I, uh, I have it in my library actually. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do though is draw an interior wall here and pull it up against the stair. Just pull that right up there and maybe pull this back to that riser right there. And then I've created this pony wall interior railing. It's just something I created and I just stuck it in here for now. And I am going to use that and draw that right here and push that against the stair. And we can take a look at it and this is how fast it is to do this it's done basically so the the trick is how do you create this wall right here and this wall is nothing more than a pony wall you go to wall types right here and you select interior railing for the top and actually that's just a wall definition and you it's basically an interior four wall so if you had an interior six, you might want to do interior railing six. But uh, the lower wall is interior four, and then you set the height off the floor. You may have to play with these numbers to get it exactly what you want. And then, depending on how you want it to look, I've chosen upper wall and lower wall outline. Um, you might want it differently. You may want upper wall, lower wall, I mean, upper wall outline and lower wall. So let's take a look and see how that looks. So you'd get the, the, the fill of the wall. So I don't think that's a good idea. Um, so, or you just might want to see the upper wall and nothing below. Then you won't be able to tell that there's a wall below it. So I think um, this one, upper wall and lower wall out, outline is the way to go. But that's up to you. And um, other than that, it's, it's however you define the railing. So you go in here to rail style, and I, I've chosen balusters, rail to post, include the top rail, but I didn't include a bottom rail. And then you click, this is the most important thing, follow stairs. So you click follow stairs, and then the wall will be parallel with the staircase. And then you just go in here and define your railing however you want it. Uh, set the height, what type of newel you want. I've got, I just went into the library and picked the box newel. And then you may have to play with the width of these newels so they don't stick out past your walls. That'll be up to you. And uh, it depends, you know, if you have a six inch wall or wider or whatever you're doing. And uh, choose your rails. These are the defaults that are set and just being pulled in. I didn't mess with those, but you, you can customize anything you want right here. And that's basically all there is to it. And um, I'll do one on this side so you know. So right here, we'll just do, we will draw a wall interior on this side. Well, I will try. Here we go. And I'll pull this. I'm going to reverse the wall and pull it over to the stair. Pull it out a little. And then I am going to open it. And I am going to go to wall type and go pony wall. And I'm going to put um, interior railing for the top and interior four for the bottom. And then I am going to, I think if you go here and you do that, that's all you have to do is click railing. Then go to rail style click balusters, rail to post, and 
there you go. It's coming together. Go to the Newell tab and pick your Newell. We'll use this one this time just for fun. Make the Newell like 4.25, maybe uh, 40 inches. And then um, balusters are just inch and a half. But you can go into the library here and change your baluster. Um, I don't like to use these, but I mean, you could probably use this and make them, you got to make them smaller than maybe one inch and maybe four inch spacing or something. And rails, you can customize it however you want. And then, oh, I forgot the most important thing. Um, on the rail style, make sure it says follow stair. And then on the wall type, maybe set this at 11 inches or something. Click OK. Um, take a camera view. And it kind of worked. Um, this one doesn't have a, uh, a wall to butt into, so you can see what would happen. And something's going on right here. I'm not sure why. There we go. I, th I think you just got to mess with it a little bit. But uh, you get the idea. It's pretty simple. And uh, if you don't have X11, it's a lot more difficult. In fact, you'd be doing a lot of polyline solids and editing walls and everything else. So that was a big improvement in X11. One more thing I want to talk about is the wall cap. And the, because uh, I haven't talked about that, but it, when it's, since it's a pony wall, you can actually define this wall cap. And when you create this wall, most of the time that's going to be checked right there, full wall width. And if you have that checked, it'll just be a cap on top of the wall. And you may or not may or may not want that, but you have some ability to customize this. You can uh, actually go into the library. You can replace this. And I'm not sure where they are. I think they're in here sills and caps right here and you can pick one um, you know like this with a bevel and make it say an inch tall or something and instead of full width maybe make it six inches wide click OK and that's what you'll get vector view let's look at that you can see the edges then are beveled and so you get the ability to customize that. Now, you, if you had a shoe rail here, you could probably go into rails here, bottom rail. And we, we in our style, we didn't include one. But if we did, we can go into the rails here and choose the bottom rail and replace that. And we'll go to Arcways and use a shoe rail. Maybe you could use something like this. And... Um, Maybe make it inch and a quarter tall because otherwise you may not see it. Say it doesn't pop up through. Um, that's a defect in the software. So say two and a quarter. And there you go. You got your little shoe rail there. It kind of works. But it doesn't work perfect. But um, so there you have it. You can customize that cap and uh, hide the top of your skirt board if that's what you prefer to do. So anyway, those are a couple of tips. And as you can see right here, my wall isn't aligned. See it right there? So you come down here and you can hit this align with wall above. And then more than likely, um, this wall isn't aligned either. So you'd have to do that in the floor plan. Come over here. I usually just center it like that. And there you go. Everything's beautiful. As good as you're going to get it in Chief. And that's pretty fast in X11. If you don't have it, I suggest you get it. If you are going to do stairs like this, because that's the fastest way. And uh, that's a big improvement in X11. So hope it helps. And good luck to you. See ya.